Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So today's video is a little bit of a sensitive video. We're going to be talking about who determines the gender of the child. So who determines whether it's a male and who determines whether it's a female. Keep watching. This is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. In our African culture, there's a lot of sensitivity about the gender of a child. And I think it's not only in our African culture. In India, in China, where a boy child was needed more than a female child. In India, the same thing. And in our African setup, everybody, men and women want an heir to their name. In our setup where the name goes from generation to generation, and especially for the boy child, it's obviously important to have a male child. But what's happening today is that men are blaming the women. And some women also feel that if they don't have a male child, it's they're, they're, they're not right. They're not a woman if you've not have a, had a boy child. So today I want to dis demystify the myth. So who's responsible for the male? Who's responsible for the female? Every human being has 46 chromosomes. And then there are the sex chromosomes, which are either X, or why? From these chromosomes, we get 23 from our mother and 23 from our father. And the determination of X and Y depends on the man. So men have sperm that can either have an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. Women only have X chromosomes. So women are 46 XX and males are 46 XY. So they can give during um, the genetic makeup, what happens is the sperm are divided and some sperm have X, some sperm have Y. During fertilization, when the egg is ready to be fertilized, the sperm penetrates the eggs and either an X sperm or a Y sperm enter. And this is solely determined by how motile, which means how fast the, the swimmer gets to the egg and how strong they are. Because around the egg, there's a very hard shell and they have to penetrate that whole shell to get into the, um, into the ova. So men, women, it's the man who determines the gender of the baby. So if you have a little girl, it's the man's X sperm. If you have a little boy, it's the man's Y sperm. So there we have it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've learned about it and I hope we've demystified this myth of who determines the gender. If you have any questions or any queries, please feel free to ask questions on the comments. You can also email us, you can call us up. We will respond because we want you to get all the information you can where it concerns fertility. My name is Dr. Wanjiro and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility where we walk with you.